वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर द वेबिनार सीरीज ऑफ ऑडिनो पेरिपेरल इंटरफेस ऑडिनो इट्स अ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इट्स अ बोर्ड दे विल गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड ओपन सोर्स ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर एज वेल एज ऑडिनो हार्डवेयर बोर्ड द ऑडिनो हार्डवेयर बोर्ड अबाउट द डिटेल्स वी वर डिस्कस इन दैट इल लास्ट सेशन micro micro controller or introduction to embedded system about the uh, title we were discussed about arduino board it is a uh, available on small size medium size and uh, ethernet connections for low cost arduino you know another one is if i have i needed more number of the input output port arduino mega and uh, ethernet connect in connections internet connection iot web based to operate it so you can use for that one ethernet uh, type of the device so coming to the here in this session you will going to see about the peripheral interfaces what is a peripheral interfaces so last class we were uh, discuss about uh, dac systems so what is a dac system sensor to the uh, motor it is a total how it is one of the closed loop system uh, for example uh, it is a start from the soil soil water level so sensor it will going to sense the soil level of the water so if it is a water level is a no water level it's a dry conditions so if that is sensor it will going to sense that information is passed to the microcontroller through signal conditioning system signal conditioning system it is used to uh, i will show you the block diagram it is easy to you will going to understand we'll go ahead on that one yes see that one here so plant so plant or environment will going to measure after that one it this information is passed into the sensor okay with help of the sensor it is measure then after in the from measuring of that one data okay pass to the controller through signal conditioning what is the purpose of the signal conditioning it will going to amplify the signal as well as filter the unwanted one then that information is passed to the controller through a to d converter unlock to digital converter for example i am using the sensor is a unlock sensor uh, lm35 i will use the temperature unlock sensor i will going to use or i will going to use for that one is a ldr type of the sensors so whatever type of the analog sensor i am using i will going to use that a directly i will going to connect it to that unlock pin it is available on the analog pin in the board it is available that board behind what is there a to d converter is there that convert it will going to convert the analog information to digital information and the pass into the microcontroller the microcontroller already we were interface that users so users user interface means program we are going to inbuilt develop and then inbuilt uh, inbuilt into the device so that uh, based on that one the controller is giving the command command to the motor controller it will going to give the command to the motor okay so next one you can see digital to unlock converter unlock converter after that motor driver motor driver to that activator activator is a, it is a mechanical operated device electrical signal that is converted into the mechanical uh, mechanical device so electrical signal to mechanical device means it is it may you may be used to this solenoid or it will go to water tap so the water tap it is a, it will go to open the water tap or you can use a electrical activator of the relay and motor you can use electrical activator such as that relay and motor so if for example the plant the dry conditions if it is that one water level is a dry the sensor it will going to sense and give the information to the controller the controller give the command to that motor to on how it will going to through the relay so like it is a the dac system data acquisition system you can say so so here what you will going to see the sense here is a user interface program that is a very important so there are two, uh, three things is needed for uh, do the interface systems so arduino peripheral interface systems needed what are the three things is needed
so three things so what are the three things one is a circuit connections diagram so how to connect it sensor from the sensor how to connect it so that is needed so circuit diagram connections so what type of sensor i am using so either i am using as analog sensor or digital sensor the connection diagram is needed so if you have no the connection diagram you may be connected for that your motor sensor and relay system to your microcontrollers how which pin do i want to connect it where do i want to connect it you know do that one then second one is what is needed means second one is a program needed or another name you can call it as a sketch so you know you need for that Uh, you know the about that program or you needed a sketch about that way of the to executing particular of the operations then third one is a components that are necessary of the components okay peripherals that is needed so these are the interface circuit is needed if you have interface circuit you will going to start to work on that one this is a uh, outline of this presentations so let's will go ahead on that one further this mm, further about the slides so what you will going to see in this slide means okay in this chapter you have interface with the led so led if i have take that led light emit device it, it is a diode this diode is a well you can take from that one, one external led and that led you can connect it to that your board and you may be set about the timer so on and off so it's a blinking about the led you can uh, you can develop it even if you don't have the led it is already inbuilt with one of the smd surface mount device led is available that led also you may be check so that is a uh, things so interface with the led the next one lcd in so far led will going to connected interface into the lcd the lcd it is used used to you will going to display whatever you wanted that details if for example temperature what is the temperature levels i need to see in my lcd to display uh, that one is in normally in an air conditioner in front of the air condition conditioner the lcd display available for that one it's a 17 degree celsius 20 degree celsius and the temperature value so that type of a display you can do for that lcd so that one is interfacing then next one you have that uh, topic syllabus keypad keypad interface how to interface the keypad why keypad is needed uh, for example you can take um, uh, wheelchair so wheelchair you have attached into the electrical vehicle in the electrical vehicle is you have attached then uh, after that what you want you want to move the wheelchair in forward backward directions and turn into the right side and turn into the left side so you need to do this type of the operations so if you want to do this type of operations uh, you need for that one is a uh, joystick you needed so you can use the joystick or you can use for that simply keypad you can use so keypad of the buttons okay you have used for the two ones okay so right side we have uh, one button you can set and the left side turn one another button and the forward mo motion you will going to set another buttons and the reverse motion you will going to set about another buttons and the stop button you will going to set so these are the operation five button is used to you will going to execute it or you can use the joystick used to you will going to execute it the next one serial communication using ide what is a serial communication i using ide means in the display you uh, in, in computer you will going to see about the display serial communica communication monitor you it is called uh, that monitor it will say it will show you what is the value for example distance you will going to measure so what is the distance of that one and what is the temperature of the, the room i want to see with uh, i want to see in monitor you can use the serial communications everything you can see the display in monitor in the arduino board itself i mean arduino software itself i want to see means serial communication encoding you can add it in the line and if you can see that once the next one concept of the pwm pulse with modulations why pulse with modulation is needed where it is needed for example robot uh, robo you have developed robo so robo it is uh, what is that motor is there that motor you need to operate it how do you how to you can operate it so you need to do that forward motion i mean forward rotation of that motor as well as reverse rotation of the motor so you want to operate it 
so here the change of of the power supply when you have to apply to that permanent magnet dc motor to you will going to change the direction of rotation of the motor okay then you will going to give the command so command pulses to the motor so when you want to operate it when you want uh, you want to stop the motor so any motion i mean any obstacle is there uh, in front of that 5 uh, 5 uh, cm distance then you can stop the motor so like it you will going to automatic system you will going to develop the pulse with the modulation means um, there okay the, you will going to use that actuator the actuator is motor driver is used to you will going to control the motor so driver driver uh, even you have see about that uh, block diagram also driver so motor driver electrical vehicle if i have take about that one uh, what are the major equipment means very simply reduce in that one one is first one is motor second one is motor driver they will want to see then third one is a battery and accessories accessories for uh, throttle okay another one is a brake system etc this accessories so major three components well, first one is a motor okay electrical vehicle the major three component is a motor second one is a driver third one is a power supply is called a battery so what is a driver so driver means motor driver what is a motor driver it is a combination of the converter as well as controller what is a combination of converter and controller for example if i have take about here uh, robotics robo it will go to operate it and that one is a forward motion reverse motion i want to operate it so you are going to use that a dc to dc converter as a because the dc is a battery input and then my motor also dc so dc to dc is i needed one converter that is a h bridge h bridge converter you will going to use so dc to dc h bridge you will going to use and this dc to dc h bridge converter you will going to use okay inside what is that means power semiconductor there switches are there power semiconductor switch just said that that power semiconductor switch itself to the circuit is closed okay the power semiconductor switch is used to the circuit is closed it is nothing but uh, uh, the light okay the tube light is uh, it is uh, connected in series with the one switch so for example the electricity box box to the switch switch to the tube light two pivot neutral is connected to that uh, neutral point so here the switch is connected in series with that uh, power supply and the light it is uh, connected in series so like that uh, power semiconductor switches is uh, connected is there the power semiconductor device, device switches what is that one means uh, for uh, uh, you can take example of uh, uh, this switch you will going to manually you can on and off this type of the power uh, power semiconductor switches uh, you will going to give the pulse that a pulse it is used to you can on and off that's a pwg impulse with the modulations then next one dc motor so this dc motor dc motor you can take about that one and generally we have normal dc motor okay normal dc motor means you have studied about uh, there are two coil armature coil and field coil is used it then second one is a special dc motor you can say about the permanent magnet dc motor permanent magnet dc motor means uh, here is a magnet is a permanent permanent uh, it is a stator you can use uh, the permanent coil permanent coil of the stator para i mean stator is a permanent coil rotor is a coil coil is used to use it when you will going to give the dc power supply to that rotor so here is a rotor flux and a stator flux interaction torque is produced that is a dc motor the next one uh, temperature sensor so it is a temperature sensor is it is used to you will going to sense what is the temperature of the room and uh, what is the temperature of the motor so if it is automatic cooling system you want to, you can you may be design so like air conditioner what is the room and the temperature based it is on and off okay strain cage accelerometers so like about this is the things the interface we'll going to detail we'll going to see about in that uh, in the presentation in that lesson so sensor means uh, these all the sensor already we were uh, discussed in uh, regular class so for a few of the sensor is uh, shows in the slide so here is uh, these all the few of the uh, sensor uh, touch sensor touch based it will going to work uh, soil moisture level sensor this is soil moisture level so what is a moisture level based on that one you will going to say so ultrasonic sensor so ultrasonic sensor is used to what is the distance okay what is the distance of the object is there like you will going to develop on that one so pir sensor also it 
object is there pia sensor it is used to motion is any motion is crossed or not object is crossed any object is coming near by that one or lm35 of the sensor so like the board that one sensor uh, heartbeat sensor okay like ir sensor it is so many sensor is a uh, vr user this are uh, this sensor is a place where uh, place the uh, major role for smart device smart device uh, it is a placing on that one smart watch okay what is my heartbeat levels uh, automatically sensing and passed into that uh, database through uh, arduino ethernet type of the board it is used to passing on that data continuously then uh, we were discussed about a relay system relay what is the relay activators the activator so driver activators systems so normally open normally close so no, when it is that one normally close condition off conditions so the switch i mean bulb number one is glow when it is a coil is energized okay this switch is moved into the and wow it like this is a lamp two is a glow okay so you will going to give the pulse to that uh, coil energizing this relay so uh, six voltage you will going to give that once okay it is not uh, close into the ground when you will going to give the pulse so once you will going to give the pulse to that one the coil is energized so you will know you need to give that relay systems so power supply and then ground then you will going to give the pulse the pulse you will going to give through that arduino microcontroller programming board so arduino microcontroller programs it will going to through that one you will going to give the pulse pwm pulse this is a pwm pulse when you will going to give the pulse okay the circuit is on if you are not giving the pulse the such the circuit is off so whenever you can give the pulse the switch is closed the switch is closed means the, here is a power supply is a flow to the coil and close the circuits close means with respect to the ground it is a close the circuit when it is a closed means what will happen the coil is energized once the coil is energized the switch is move from that normally close to the normally open it is a point it is a moving so when it is a moving the lamp is a it will going to grow okay uh, for example it is a you may be set about the two lamp system this is a two lamp systems one lamp in, in outside of the room another lamp is uh, inside the room so whenever i want to move outside this lamp is on whenever i am coming inside this lamp is on how it will going to on automatic so automatically i will going to set so motion detection sensor so motion detection sensor is a my input so my object is identified okay some object is coming inside some person is human is coming so once it is coming on that human then what will what will happen that is a controller did give the command to on so once it is on coil is energized okay the inside the lamp is glow instead of lamp you may be set about some uh, audio amplifiers so you can uh, set the programming like about welcome you okay have a nice day like you may be said so whenever they are moving outside so this speaker it will going to set to thank you uh, come again you can set about that one so like you will going to develop about that once so this we were discussed DAC systems already about this is a DAC systems so we will going to set about from the sensor to activator so Arduino types some basic things we will going to touch then we will go for that interface device so uh, what I have said about this is the things about the tone three levels so the cost is the lowest cost Arduino you know it will going to come then uh, some was enhanced Arduino mega it will going to give then another one is internet of things Arduino ethernet is uh, you will going to use so it is used to you will going to Arduino types based on that one you can purchase the hardware so Arduino you know so Arduino you know is a board this is a board about Arduino you know so then you have going to you give that a uh, port to be I mean, USB uh, USB type of the uh, power interface you can port to P type of the B type of the power uh, you can interface you can use and uh, or otherwise you can use the adapter or you will going to give the power supply 5 volt power supply you can give so here is analog pins and here is a digital pin available so here is a inbuilt of the LED available inbuilt of the LED systems available okay then uh, transmitter receiver commands and the power on the LEDs power on LED available so like it's a reset button so it's already we were discussed about Arduino you know board and uh, it's a power supply when you have see that once you should be applied it by five voltage power supply for uh, activated uh, activated the board function the board so uh, 
the range should be in that between the range limit if you have crossed that uh, limit means uh, input recommended it is 7 to 9 voltage if it is across the recommendation means it will going to uh, possible to break down on the ones so the next one interfacing during the interface time what you want to do means first you want to download that arduino software after in uh, okay download the arduino software install the in your systems okay now uh, what i will going to do uh, connected my connected my board to that pc if i will going to connect my board to the pc after that one what do i want to do means this is the following steps so after i have connected to my board to the pc it automatically it will going to sense what is the board you have connected either you are connected arduino you know or i will going to connect it to the arduino mega it will go to sense in case it is not sense it means you will go to select so you can click into the tools and then board and the board in that one you will going to select then next one okay which port you are going to use that one also it will go to sense automatically selected okay in the tools port available so com 8 or com 4 so which port are you connected it will go to select automatically even not selected you can select it then uh, installation if you want to install that one you can download the fi file from that one sardino.cc so in that one is a software available you can download and save the file and install it okay next one is a program so when you have go to the programming window okay uh, it is the majorly there are three things is available one first one is uh, you can say about the function void or loop type of the function it is there then second one you can say about the structure so structurally you will going to follow the structure so unlock input pin means this is structure unlock output pin means i mean unlock write means this is structure unlock read means this is structures okay what is the pin is the input you have used what is the pin as an output is used you can follow the structure okay then third one is uh, you can uh, then uh, yes third one is uh, you have you go go for um, yeah this is about the structure yes then third one is a values so values means variables variables value you will going to set about that ones so uh, a is equal to 5 b is equal to 10 the values you will going to set to execute it so this is about that you can call as a program or a sketch you can you're going to call it about that ones so you will go to write about the c program in that ones so you will going to write about that this uh, uh, integrated development environment you can id you can say integrated development environment if i have look in that once this is a tick mark is a compiling and then this arrow mark it is so about for upload the programs and after that this is a serial monitor i saw i told already about that a serial monitor if you are use the coding in that uh, windows uh, okay then serial monitor it is used to you will going to see about that one so every time you will going to change the code you will going to compile and then upload the programs once your program is uploaded it it will going to start to execute it okay so all the programs you will going to write about the integrated development environment or the sketch in that one okay that one in the place you will going to write about the programs okay next one we'll going to see about that one okay um interface so i will go to interface on that one by one i will show you so first one is a led interface i will want to led means it, it consists of the two terminals first one is anode then second terminal is cathode okay the lengthy terminal normally and they will going to show, give you for that anode and a short terminal they will going to give us in cathodes so you will going to give that once okay here is a, the uh, here you will want normally you will going to give the power supply okay when you will going to give the power supply to that uh, led it will going to glow okay so before you will going to give the power supply okay for example i have the 9 volt battery so if a uh, battery plus terminal connected to that uh, led plus and the minus terminal is connected to that led minus means so what is if you have connected a 9 volt battery directly to the led what it will happen maximum con consumable voltage drop is a 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 some uh, uh, multicolor led one voltage will going to drop so you will going to apply for that 5 to 6 times higher current uh, higher current and voltage you will going to apply at the time what will happen it will going to suddenly it will going to uh, fail down that leds Okay, suddenly fade down means uh, the good brightness reduce quickly. It will go to 
it's a burst about that one cell edis so that's why what we want to do one resistance one resistance is connected in series with the led okay one resistance is connected in series with the led the resistance does not consist of any polarity any time any play any terminals any side you can connect connected so you will going to connect it in series with the with the led you can connect it okay so i have connected okay one is a first one is a ground connection then second one is a you will going to connect it to that digital pins so any one of the digital pins you will going to give that ones so in that one you will going to make a program for example i have used about that one uh, pin number is a 13th 13th you don't uh, need not to you can use because 13th is already inbuilt for the led is available if you want you can use otherwise don't use it similarly you can use as a 12 pin so 12 pin is output of led you want to uh, set into the programs so this is a first circuit connections the next one lcd so if i want to i am using for lcd device okay so lcd ke, okay here yeah, uh, this is already 1 to 16 pins available so 1 to 16 pins you will going to give that one power supply as well as that one digital uh, connections uh, okay you will going to give the one um, give this and uh, give the connections so here is a power supply so 5 volt power supply and ground power supply you will going to giving on that ones then next one and 5 volt and uh, and uh, ground supplies i have a variable um, port you to you are going to changing on that over here point you can change into you can give that means limited values then next one here you will going to give on that ones then um, here is a uh, one two three uh, four five six six uh, six lines you will going to connect it to that uh, digital connections of that uh, ones okay like you will going to interface on the lcd the next one keypad the keypad consists of you will going to see that ones uh, four rows is available and the four columns available so if have four rows and the four columns you have used means you can use for the eight pins you can with that one you can four plus four eight pins you can use or suppose i will going to need not to use for the a b c d not not needed so i am using for that uh, here is a uh, four rows i will going to use three columns i will going to use so if i will going to use the three column means so four into three so finally i will going to use that one seven line is enough so you will going to use the seven lines so seven line you will going to directly connected point is connecting is very important if i have changed means what will happen okay it will going to change the positions so for example robotic system what we will going to do forward operation press the two reverse operation i will going to press the eight turn the left four turn the right click the six the next one uh, motor interface so you will going to interface the motor connections okay how to interface so motor is a it is needed the power supply power supply okay 5 volt motor available or 12 volt motor available for example 5 volt motor okay i will going to give that once okay and then next one this motor consists of that one is a plus and minus only there are two terminal plus and minus power source plus and minus only there okay here i have that one so this is called a converter controller or you can say about the motor driver this motor driver it is used for that way. you can converting and controlling operations what is the converter controller it means it's a dc to dc converter how it, you can say about dc to dc converter what is the input dc is a input what is output motor is a dc motor is output so here you will going to give the input dc power supply here you will going to give, take the output of the dc power power output then here pwm pulses these two is a pulse so there are two lines in that two lines you will going to give the pulse to that ones okay you will going to give the next one so here you will going to ground to where terminal you can connect it as well as you have take that one uh, here is a 5 volt power supply is needed so take this one and connect it to the 5 voltage power supply you will going to connect it so when you will going to connect to the 5, 5 voltage if it is a 9 volt battery it is not uh, uh, that much of level to give the power supply to the motor as well as boat okay it will give some less period only it will going to give so you may be used for that one 5 voltage power supply Play. here you can use okay other day if you have increased the voltage level that should be good okay normally this one is a input record on the 12 volt okay it is a converter dc to dc converter 
with the controller that's why it is a motor driver you can say this is a one side of motor this uh, you can use another motor also you can use and uh, two more lines these two lines what is the purpose pulse with the modulations pwgm so the pwgm is going to giving so when that one nine is activated so forward operation when 10 is operated it is a uh, it will going to operate under the reverse operations so like you will going to make the programming this is about the motor interface and then the concept of the pwg impulse with the modulations the next one joysticks for example i will going to operate under the joystick uh, type of that one so it consists of that one to four five lines it will going to consist of that one ground plus five voltage and then uh, it is a ground and plus five voltage you have given the next one is uh, this is a yellow yellow and then uh, another one is a blue color so this is about that uh, yellow and blue color okay this two is analog input you can give the analog input another one is uh, it will going to give about that one is a connection into that uh, digital so you will going to give one that one analog input you will going to give that one and then digital uh, value you can give on the to switch you will going to give on that uh, this joysticks the next one is a temperature sensor so temperature sensor it will going to uh, i already told it is one of the analog of the analog device so it consists of only three terminals what are the three terminals bcc ground and uh, out so what is that a center point out means out to that is a analog input see here is a a not point i will going to connect it to that uh, it is a, i will going to connect it to that out point a uh, center point of that uh, this sensor so this sensor once you have make this connection it will going to start start to sense about temperature of that place it will going to start to sense okay that is sense okay sense sense about the value you want to see in the uh, display serial monitor you can use the serial monitor serial monitor it is used to you can see the display okay or i i want to see about in a, my lcd yes you can use the lcd it is used to you can see that one <clears throat> the next one is a strain cage modules so what is the purpose of the strain cage modules so it is used to measure the mechanical stress in the solid materials so in mechanical related uh, those who are mechanical student they you will going to get it and more this ones so your uh, solid material stress levels so that is so solid material stress levels you will going to measure on that ones with the help of the strain cage modules so what is the level of the solid material stress okay it is included with the adjustable amplifier it is there and it is used to suitable for the interfacing directly to the microcontroller so adc input unlock to digital converter input okay input under require only for that okay 5 volt power supply you will going to give that power voltage 5 voltage power supply and it is used for the application where only relative strain measurement are required so here as as well uh, instead of you are using for a uh, lm35 uh, temperature ic you can use the strain cage module it is used to you will going to find out the mechanical stress the center point is out the center point of the out is can connected to the analog input either a n a not or a1 wherever you can connect it at a point you will going to pass away into the programs so you will going to connect it and as as well 5 voltage and ground you will going to give the input power input of that one 5 voltage and ground either you can do give the external input or you can get, get it from that board 5 volt it will going to give that one and the ground you can give that ones so when you will going to give means here strongly you can give the power supply so this is a strain cage module so you will going to find out the stress in solid material then another one more uh, interface uh, device we will going to see about that uh, accelerometer so accelerometer it is a uh, used to you will going to so accelerometer next one we will going to see about that uh, accelerometer the accelerometer uh, for example uh, our mobile phone take the our mobile phone uh, we will going to see the pictures in portrait manner or landscape manner so it is option available you can give, give the options okay whenever you will going to tilt that one it will going to change so portrait mode into that uh, tilt to uh, landscape uh, mode so i uh, just i uh, will going to tilt it up uh, options and shaking options so like it will going to enable the devices 
so tilting so for example uh, my vehicle electrical uh, I mean, uh, wheelchair just i want to just i will going to bend my my uh, post, posture lever or i will going to change my direction of uh, my hand so like it is a tilting whenever i will going to tilt just i will going to tilt like that change the directions uh in i don't like to press in the keypad so to eight turn right or turn left just i will going to tilt my hand okay i will going to just insert my hand into the gloves just i will going to tilt in right hand side or tilt into the left hand sides so the vehicle is start to move on that once if you want to execute it that one you can use for that accelerometer the accelerometer also similar to that device of uh, lm30 five you can see here is totally five terminals you can apply for that vcc as well as ground you will going to apply for that ones then after that one two three so x out y out z out three unlock input you can give that one three unlock input you will going to give that ones these three unlock input you this is saying about what is the angle do i want to turn that is the purpose of accelerometer is using so coming to the end about that one interface if you are into interface what type of the sensor any type of the sensor uh, motion direction or ultra uh, ultra via uh, ultra uh, violet okay race ultrasonic sensor you can use okay whatever the type of the sensor if you want okay how to connect it to the board that is called the interface how to connect it to the board so the connection diagrams so that a connection diagram is very important these are the some connection diagram about that one next one is when you have entered to the programming so the programming is in the sketch so that is important that one for example temperature sensor this code is needed so already we were said about the saying about that function function means there are void is set of function void loops is a functions so repeated operations when okay repeated operations it is a one time operation executions so like it is that one it is a function is divided to two type one is a one time execution or repeated executions then structure it is about that one serial capital s yes. serial dot begin 9600 it's a bits value okay here is a, that one here i have mentioned about that one okay next one here is a serial dot uh, print i will going to print what i will going to print it temperatures then what is that one the temperature what value okay it will going to come as an it is so oh, yes a uh, temperature in capital letters and what is the value in celsius i will going to uh, uh, source the values so another one is i will going to represent as a star c also then one line gap and a delay then next one like it will going to repeat it in the operations so here i will going to written about the programs so what is the programs so here is a, i have written val val it is equal to analog read so analog read of the tmpin okay temperature pin i will going to take in as in that ones so here is a temperature sensor so temperature consists of three terminals and that one is a five voltage and a ground okay that is a leave it then the, that is a third pin that the third pin is will going to okay giving us give into the analog pin that analog pin either you can connect it a not or a1 so whatever the place you will going to connect it for example here is a you will going to connect it to that a a0 means or a1 means you will going to specify it a1 instead of 1 you will going to specify as in a1 you will use you should be specify if i have specify that a1 is a name is nothing but temperature pin so that that pin it is a a1 here is nothing but i will going to read the analog read okay this analog read of that one a1 pin so a1 pin i will going to read so uh, next one uh, okay use the formula as usual formula it is used to i will going to measure the temperature values whatever i will going to um, sensing the sense value i will going to divide by 1024 multiply with 5000 and then i will going to get it as a float value of the mv and this mv is divided by 10 it is used to i will going to convert into the cl and this cl multiply with 9 divided by 5 plus 32 to i will going to convert into the farenheit so these are the formula it is used to convert into the farenheit celsius into that once so sensing the and then it will going to do the as usual calculations 
uh, you can say about it is a values there are three things in the programming one first one is a function void setup and then void loop so the uh, loop means can uh, repeatedly repeatedly it will do what is the meaning of repeatedly do means uh, the temperature it will going to change it will going to keep on changing so that's why whatever like the devices keep on changing that is right in that uh, void loop in the levels okay it will going to keep on changing that is one then after that the second one is a uh, uh, what about that one it's a function is a over then it's a function means wide setup and wide loop then second one is a structure this is about the structure so you should be follow the semicolons and then uh, you can um, specific it uh, and then um, initially then now uh, you can call the uh, call the names then analog read or should be in capital so you will want to follow the structure then only the program is uh, not come with any error then third one is a values like you will going to enter into that uh, convert it into the front ticket or uh, calculate the values so you can use on that one this is our three things is important in the programming the next one um, i will going to give a uh, few more informations uh, about writing the programs in the writing the program if i have see that once uh, it's a digital input output port you can call as a generally digital io port input output port so which pin you are going to use so how to use the structure this is a structure of the pin mode okay pin comma output whether you want to use as a 12 as an output or 12 as an input i'm using i'm i'm i needed okay two as i'm using as an input okay in the term digital input i'm using okay so i will going to use as an two as an digital input okay digital input i'm using as a two what is a digital input for example my uh, okay par sensor or uh, another one is a uh, uh, uv sensor that uv sensor it is a digital okay digital it will going to give on that one so digital informations the sensor it will going to give the digital information that digital information i will going to connect to the pin number two then pin number out is i will going to connect to the led or lcd so i will going to connect it to the one led okay whenever the motion is detected the led should be in that one output of the 12th pin of the led it is a glow that's all so that, that is the purpose of the pin mode the next one digital read and digital write so what is a digital read and digital write oh, yeah i told you that one uh, my uv sensor or pia sensor at the pia sensor i will going to connect it to the pin number two so i will going to connect it to the pin number two so pin number two i will going to connect it in that pin number two is an input pin so i will going to read that input pins so here is a input pin i will going to read so first one is that is pin number two i will going to mention into that one b a so here is a v i have mentioned so v a l you can write about v a l or i will going to write okay that v a l i will going to read okay digital read so v a l that val okay val so uh, v a l i will going to write so here is a missing so v a l of the two so if you are going to write about the v a l of the two that is uh, i will going to pin number two i will going to reading read on that one or you can write about the one line so int okay v it is equal to digital read and that one is a pin number two the next one uh, digital write so digital write so write is i will going to use on that one is a output pin is a 12 so digital write okay digital write 12th pin okay what is that one this is a value so this values it will going to display in that ones what is the temperature you have measured that measured value you will going to give into the 12th pin so write about the digital write so for example unlock value unlock read so unlock read okay i will going to use analog pin so here is a digital input and it mean read and write next one is unlock read and unlock write so unlock read also same methods so what is that one unlock read i will going to unlock read under the a1 pin i will going to read so that is a value of that once i will going to store into the value that value is i will going to call dash that once that one is unlock uh, write i will going to unlock write unlock write as an output so unlock write output is a ninth pin so this is a digital input or uh, i mean read and write uh, then similarly you can read and output you can uh, input and output similar unlock input and uh, unlock output okay next one is so further what you have see this is like a few more on that one delay so delay on that one how much you want to delay so delay on that uh, two thousands uh two thousand second 
you want to delay or you want i want to delay on that microseconds so you can use on that one microseconds it's a kind of structure of that one delay okay thousands that is a milliseconds or delay microsecond then you will going to mention on that microsecond value next one is a serial communication that is serial communication you want to wide setup you will going to mention about serial begin bits value 9600 it's a constant one then serial print you will going to use and value what is the value you will going to print and then uh, next line you will going to print on that one semicolon to use to close it for example serial dot print so you will going to uh, double quotes you will going to mention high means high will going to print and uh, b is mentioned means what is the value it will going to print so this is a digital input and output okay so whatever we were discussed that is called the input functions yes, that is called the syntax once again we are I'm saying about the pin pin mode pin comma mode either you can mode is a, you can decide either input you can mention or output you can mention So uh, digital read, you can write uh, read in that pin numbers. You will can write digital write. So here is a 12 pin is a 12th pin is a write. So what you want to give the output? That one is a value. That value is nothing but a calculation. That calculation of that one you can give into that output. So for example, this is a one smallest of programs. In the program, what is that one? Pin mode 13,000 output output pins. Then pin mode 7 as an in input pin. So input is a you have taken as an input motion directions. Output is a LED. Okay, like you will going to decide it. So here is a input is a seventh pin. That is seventh pin of the digital pin. So you will going to read the digital read. Okay, seventh pin I will going to read and stored into the VAL. I will going to store into the VAL. 13th pin is output. Okay, whatever I will going to store the value. Or it will go to print that's all so this is a very simplest method about the programming so once again i will go to repeat the program so pin mode 13th i will go to decide as an output 13th i have a use as an one led then pin mode 7 7 as an input 7th pin as an input what is that one so motion direction pr sensor is i have used so motion sensor is i have connected to that pin number 7 Whenever motion is detected, the sound the 13th pin of the LED will go to glow. This is a method, for example. So digital read. I will go to read the motion directions. So I will go to read about that one. Uh, digital read about the input 7 once i did this the 7 it is in there then give the value into that ones actually you come to say about that motion direction is not an exactly correct about uh, suitable uh, ultra i mean a distance uh, distance sensing okay uv sensor so uv sensor it is a best suitable one here in the word so uh, uv distance what is the distance of that uv so measure in that seventh pin okay that was stored into the value that value it is uh, printed on that third in the pen or you can use the serial communications you will going to print it so it's a gentle method about the programming uh, next one if you have see about the robotics okay robo ro, uh, robotics if you want to operate on that one motor so how many motor means uh, two wheel is needed okay left, left hand side one wheel and right hand side uh, one wheel so i will go to here you can see about that one function wide setup wide loop so repeatedly what to do and then uh, one time execution what to do so pin mode what are the pin modes here is uh, how many i will going to use there are four terms i will have used uh, m1 m2 m3 m4 these are the four terms where i got connected 9 10 11 to 12 i got connected m1 and m2 is for the uh, okay motor a pin and motor b pin this is it these two pins okay pin mode m1 comma output pin mode m2 comma output pin mode m3 comma output pin mode m4 comma output there are four mode also output of the modes okay so it will going to uh, how it will going to work on that one so this four is output of the modes okay and uh, based on the input is a keypad you can give the input that a keypad it is a when i will going to press that a two or it is a move on that forward motions so forward motions uh, like you will going to detail you can write here is our third here a wide loop so whenever i will going to press that two so or whenever not pressing okay once i will know it is a it will going to start to work what is that once okay high 
hi what is that one here hi hi so motor one okay first two lines motor to second motor b motor is next two lines when m1 is high means forward officer operation when m2 is a high means reverse operation that's all so forward operation and, and then second one is off okay forward operations of the motor one and then uh, similarly forward operation of the motor two whenever that both motor is a forward operation means forward moving suppose i want to rotate the motor under the reverse direction means so what i want to do so here is a m2 is a high m4 is high so what is that one meaning both motor a also reverse motor b also reverse so both also reverse so this is a very simplest about that robotic programs okay uh, for example i want to take the turn in right hand side if you i want to take the turn in uh, right hand side i want to turn so just i want to right hand side so my motor this is a motor a this is a motor b you can uh, just you can assume so motor a motor b so motor b only operate motor a off motor a is off motor b only operate forward operations so motor b so m3 only high remaining all are low when remaining all are low, low means it's a forward operations right hand side right hand side turning forward right hand side turning okay similarly motor a is only turn, rotate forward rotation means left hand side is turning so left hand side it will going to turn now how it will going to do motor a okay a forward operations so m1 is high remaining all are the low so like it is a turning so this is important just it is a very interesting about that one if you have logic logic if i want to uh, move on the left hand side okay if it is means uh, motor uh, b i want to back side rotations similarly motor da back side rotations so like you can uh, do more things on that your logic you can use okay this is about the syntax so this is about the syntax of that robotics so robotic of the syntax the next one we'll going to see about so that input output structure okay i will i will put if i have no then you will go to easy to can write so if for example analog read and then you can write about the pin analog read a1 or analog read a2 a3 a0 so like you will go to write about the analog pins okay then analog right that is called the output so output is analog right so pin values which pin i will going to use in an analog output that when values so values means calculations of that ones you will going to use similarly uh, you can write about this is written the programs okay uh, you can use for that digital digital input and then digital output so pin mode for example i have taken as an pin mode 9 pin mode 9 as an output uh, pin mode a1 as an input so i am taking as an unlock input digital pin as an output so i will going to do the correlations so i will take the analog input a1 so read the values and store into the value the stored value divided by 4 i will going to do correlations and uh, display into the 9 okay like it will going to do on that one rcl communication you will go to do the displays uh, and then you can do the de delay timers so use the syntax of that delay in that uh, thousands or the microsecond delay microseconds you can do it okay another one is uh, or i want to display in the, in the serial communications then serial begin so speed you can mention 9600 okay b that is a b bits per seconds so bits per uh, second you will go to main sense another one is serial dot print serial dot print that value can main sense if i have mentioned the values it will go to print out okay for example here is a wide setup serial can dot begin so that is a uh, bits per speed so then next one is a serial print spotify i will going to print out and then hello friends i will going to print out so that's all uh, and then uh, delay thousand so what will happen it's a fixed values 45 hello friends 45 hello um, hello world like it will going to print out so this is about input on the output of the ports thank you Thank you. So this is about the uh, peripheral interfaces, peripheral interface. Thank you.